if we can go back and if I were able somehow to insulate you with a pro marriage, pro relationship community, do you think you still would have actually gone through a divorce? Not that time. Okay. I don't know what would have happened. Oh, I've never said this publicly. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what this we do. Is this is the highly initiated exclusive, baby. <laughs> Delano, Delano, make sure you zoom in on this one. Okay? Yeah. It gets, I mean, it gets don't, deep. Don't actually no. <laughs> I want to deny myself. I want to deny ability. Um, yeah, no, I, I, um, the, the, the truth about the matter is that if I had different people in my ear at that time, I would not have made that decision. No. And I tell y'all all, all the when y'all going to start giving me my credit, I tell y'all all, all the time, be careful who you surround yourself with because Everybody should not be participating in your relationship. I don't care if it's a pastor. I don't care if it's your best friend, your mother, your father, all of that. The reason why the word of God says cleave to your, you need to be having your relationship, your relationship. Let them live their life. Let them live their life. Everybody should not be participating in what it is that you got going on. And if you have people in your life that you feel comfortable telling the details of your relationship too, that is a red flag. Wow. I wouldn't. And that's the truth. I, um, I try my very best at this point in my life to be what I didn't have in that moment. Um, because I think that I was, women were like, I'm an extremely emotional person. People that know me know that about me. I'm the kind of person that like, okay, I feel so strong blah, 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 and I can ruminate. I can get so lost in my thoughts. I know a lot of women are like that. Like we're a lot, not all of us, right? But some of us are just like a lot of men can be like that. But I know women specifically, the, there will be moments where they'll be like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done. I can't stand this. He don't do this. He don't do that. Blah, 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 blah. And we're just focusing on these things. And because you don't have, you don't have a certain, um, person in your life to say, to check you and say, sis, what about this? What about this? What about these strengths? What about what he's not doing? What like those types of things? Um, that's, that can, that can get you thinking about the positive aspects of this person that you may not be thinking about when you're upset. You're only. Because let's be first, very, very clear. Um, the overwhelming majority of all women are like that. And the reason why a lot of guys are becoming like that is because they're being raised by single women that then teach them to lean into their emotions instead of looking at things logically. And, uh, and, and when you start making decisions based off of emotion, whether you're in a relationship or anything, nine times out of 10, you're going to mess it up. Nine times out of 10, you're going to mess it up. And so what she's basically saying is that she's a reflection and now her life and her relationship as far as being a divorced single mother is now a, a, re a reflection of the community that she serves and the people that she surrounds herself with. And so the people that you come into the game with, right, and even the people that you're spending your time with before you even get into a relationship, that's why I say that one of the red flags for a woman is to look at her friends and look at her people that she surrounds herself with, her mother. In her, in her community, because they are largely going to influence her or have influenced her as far as what her mindset is towards that relationship. When a love wear off, when all of the butterflies and a honeymoon phase go off and you got to actually be with the person, they're going to let you know who they are. So what you think you vetting for as far as what the things that people are saying online is not the thing that you should be paying attention to. As far as a relationship, because she's a nice looking woman, but no matter how nice looking she is, she's taking him to the cleaners. She's washing him uh, according to what was being said by Tyrese and previous posts and things like that for for a child support and everything is going south. Right. And so she's basically letting you know, like, yo, I mean, she still has to take relate, you know, responsibility for ruining her her own relationship. But that marriage was for everybody. It wasn't just for them. Thinking about what you're mad about. You're yeah. not thinking about all the other positive aspects of this person. Um, and so in those moments, you need somebody to be the, the person for that person. Yeah. Hang around 
successfully married people without divulging the details of what is going on inside of your relationship. Let me say that again for a lot of y'all in the back, because I know that we just have conversations based off of what's wrong with women or what's wrong with relationships or what's wrong with men, depending on what side of the aisle that you want. But you need to understand that there's a difference between being successfully married and being married and in a relationship and single is levels to this game. And most people cannot give you the blueprint of what it takes because they don't do it. I tell people all the time, listen, in my in my space, because it's not work, it's not issues, it's not problems. We spend 98 percent of our time on the things that we like about each other. Now it's starting to come out because you're starting to see the repercussions that comes along with not being successfully married. Um, in those moments. So it's still some people in the chat right now that they still confuse. They they really not understanding with the pro marriage, right? Or somebody who's an sure. advocate for marriage. Sure, so sure, if sure. you could just paint the the people who weren't necessarily pro marriage and you come into them or you just expressing these different mm -hmm. issues that you having, yeah. what type of responses were you actually getting versus what you should have been receiving? It's not, it's not so much about what, sh what should have been re received because I think that based upon what had, had had occurred in our relationship by that time, a lot of people were at, were, were saying that this was time for me to, to leave this, this you know, particular relationship. Yeah. It wasn't. So all these people got to say so on what happens in your relationship instead of the person that you lay next to every day. <sighs> Just me. It was my loved ones um that don't love you i might you know I, I have been seeing a therapist my therapy you know i had people that were like you know this is therapy is a scam it's, it's time this is not the best decision for you to remain in as is and so when that happened um or what what, what i mean by pro-marriage is that there is people in my life that it's not so much pro marriage, it's pro the other person. So my my thought process, based upon the clip that I shared in on my own page, was he had people in his life that would advocate for her mm. in her mo in in his most heated moments, and he wanted his wife to have people that would advocate for him in those moments. Mm. And so it wasn't necessarily somebody that was pro marriage as much it was as it was giving a different perspective on that person that would be fair to that person in that moment so it could be a best for, like it might be let's say my best friend and my home girl she might be pro marriage but she's pro me she gonna advocate for me on that phone which means that she's biased and she's not actually giving you um, the best insight and information on what's best for you just because she's pro marriage. Just because she's pro marriage in general does not necessarily mean that she's advocating for you or giving you the best advice because she's not able to remove herself from it and hold you accountable because that's not really your best friend. She's leaning to it based off of emotion because if she was pro you, then she would be pro whatever is best for you, not pro making you feel good about whatever it is that you're telling them instead of being able to see through it objectively and then give you insight on what's best for you instead of how it is that you feel at that particular time. I'm talking about somebody that maybe, maybe it's his sister. Maybe it's his mom. Maybe it's somebody that can, maybe not the mom. I wouldn't do the mom, but like somebody else in his life that could, that could advocate and speak to him mm -hmm. that he has designated. Cause that's what this guy did. He had designated certain people that when she's that upset and she needs an ear, she's not just talking to friends, her own friends who are going to advocate for her, but more or less somebody that's going to advocate for him in those moments and be able to be a voice of reason for him when she's not hearing him. That's what he was asking. That's what he was saying. And that's what I think that I didn't have. I had people that were in my life that were advocating for me, and that's not a negative thing. Yeah, yes, it just it is. was at the time being so hurt, so emotional, just being in my feelings, making a move. I didn't. And then all they saying is, "Girl, you need to leave him," or "I can't believe he did that." And now you sullying his reputation and the views of other people, 
and it just gets super messy and it's so dumb and it's all based off of how you see things It's based off how you react to it. And then you just ultimately get to a space where the smallest detail or the smallest thing is the thing that drives you up the wall. That then is the needle that broke the camel's back. And the next thing you know, you got a broken up family and you left a situation that you regret leaving as admitted uh, at the time that you did it. And it wasn't best for you. And where's all of those people and all of your friends that was advocating for you? Are they going to then make sure that you're taking care of a little man, man, or a little, 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 little girl? No, they know where to be found. But there was your community, though, right? Didn't necessarily have that, nor did I make space for that. And so I would say to a woman that's highly upset, that's highly emotional, it's like, you know what? I'm done. I'm about to call the da da da. He did this. He did that again. Blah, blah, blah. You go, go. No, no. You're not, you're actually not ready to do this. Mm. You being at this space of emotional intoxication, you're making a life-changing decision. You have absolutely no idea what you're about to walk into. So I, you should actually sit down, chill out, relax, call somebody that, you know, watch one of your favorite shows, walk around, do something different, and then come to a place or call somebody. I know in my own life and in the women that I've worked with for a very long time, they know that they can reach out to me like, sis, I'm, you know, my husband's doing X, Y, and Z. Can I, can I? And now she a relationship coach. <laughs> women need to stay away from other women. Y'all are ruining each other all across the world. God, I can't believe what y'all doing to each other. It's unreal. Can I reach out to you? And I'll they'll reach out to me and we'll sit on the phone. I'd be like, no, nah, you're wrong. Are you ready here? What she need to be telling them is now nah, don't reach out to me. Reach out to the person that you're laying next to. And check your attitude. Make sure that you got a good spirit when you go in the door and fix that junk. Go and fix it because it's better over there than it is out here. It's snakes in the grass out here. You're wrong. You actually should be doing this. You actually should. And they tr they've grown to trust me because they know that ultimately mm -hmm. I'm going to say when somebody is wrong, but I'm going to give you a perspective that is not going to break the family up mm -hmm. because I am experiencing a broken family. And that's unfortunate because I say it all the time. Why are y'all reaching out to people that's now no longer a no longer in a marriage and then B is not successfully married and didn't experience an successful, a successful marriage in order to get insight on how you should be moving? Maybe, maybe I'm just a unicorn in this earth that's seeing things logically. But one way or another, you're going to see it my way. I want to hear what y'all got to say in the comments. You know, I wanted to find a source instead of find a, finding a, just a, a quick TikTok clip. Sometimes you can only see it, a quick TikTok clip from or an Instagram reel from something that you guys send me inside of the email. First of all, thank you to everybody that sent me the content uh, that I then break down that hopefully adds some value into your life. Um, but I wanted to find the source. And so often at times I do a little bit of research or I do a little bit of digging to find out exactly where the source came from instead of what somebody clipped up because I don't know how they clipped it up. And I don't know, know what additional context is in it in order for us to be able to have this conversation. Right. But everybody can give you advice. And just because they love you in one sense of your life or they was raised with you does not mean that they have your best interest at heart or they know what to tell you. Um, when you then graduate and go into a different season of your life, everybody got a different season uh, or play different roles. And so you may be able to be cordial and cool with somebody, but that don't mean that you should tell them all of the intimate details of your relationship because they're going to ruin your life. All right. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, also tap into the Patreon link is in the description. Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I'm out.